Hi guys, um, I just got my uh, NECA Alien vs Predator figures, and I know you guys might think that NECA sucks because, um, by the way, um, I just ordered a Hot Toys Terminator figure. It's a Terminator 2 Jump Judgment Day figure, so, and I'm really looking up forward to it, so, I think it's really cool. It's my first Hot Toys, my first Hot Toys figure, so. Alright, the first deck of figure that I'm going to show you is the alien one. Right here. It has the mouth sticking out. And it has the helmet thing that it brings. It's really cool because you can see the detail inside. And you can push the mouth in. And then it has this little button in the back. Which you can put it in. And the mouth pops out. But it's really cool because right now if it doesn't have the tail you would not have to balance it because it will like fall on its feet and the tail is what supports it so I could stand up so yeah you can't really put it in positions that much so that's for the alien one <coughs> and now this is the um, predator um, requiem figure which is the last Predator movie, I think, and the like first Predator, or whatever. And I ordered this is my first figure that I got. The, the Alien is the second figure that I got. So here's the Predator. The Alien first Predator Queen figure. I think it's seven inches. So it is not bad at all, but it's not perfect either. It is really cool to have one of these figures. So. And you can see that it has the missing tooth right here, mandible, because it broke. And it didn't break, like the alien I chopped it off or something, the uh, pet alien, I think. And it has the, like, all, like all this part of the face is, like, messed up. And the eyes, the stare is incredible. And the detail is really good. And this, I forgot what it was called, but you can put it in. It's kind of hard to put it in, but you can put it in, and then if you want to take a picture with it like that, you can just take it out like that. And um, it brings with two hands, this hand, which is the open hand, and then this hand, which is a little closed hand. And the nails are really sharp. I cut myself with it a little, so, yeah. And that's the position I have it in right now, so, because it's really hard to stand it up. Oh, and it brings the cannon. And it brings another one, which you could attach it one. You could attach one here, and then you could attach another one here. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, it brings this little thing. I forgot what it's called. The, I I just don't know. What, I forgot what it's called. You could take it off and put it back, but it's not. You can't open it like the Hot Toys version. The Hot Toys version. I was thinking of getting it, but it was too much. Plus, I just got my first Hot Toys figure, which is a uh, Terminator one, which I'll do a video on that. It's, I think it's coming on Monday, so. If this one, Neko, is not bad company, but it's like I just really like this figure. It's my Alien for Shredder figure. So this one, it brings a little claymores. It brings three of them, and then it's like it, everything is almost movable. It brings one of these things, which is right here. That's one of the accessories it brings, which you can put in the closed hand version thing, and the detail is really cool. And the head, you can't, the hair and everything, you can move it like everywhere, but it ha it's like really hard to move it because of the shoulder cannon. And it's really hard to stand it up, but it's the, where you move it, it, it it's like this. And then you can put the arm like that. It's not really that much of a movable figure. So, yeah, but it's really not bad. And I really like the detail on it. And that's a little open hand, yeah, closed hand. And it brings this. Which I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe this is an alien tail. Because it really looks like an alien tail. See a little thing right there. And then the texture of it, it looks like an alien tail compared to my alien figure. And then I really like this figure. And then I, I ordered from eBay, but it, it's brand new. The little set, which he dies. 
the, this is the birth of the hybrid um, set. And the detail on the king is really well. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's really good. And then it brings this little thing that you can move it, which is uh, it also it brings this. If I'm gonna see it there, this which you can put it there. It brings that one and it brings an extra one back here. And then talking about this one, I know it was pale because it's supposed to be dead already or something. But I just wanted more detail on it, so I painted it. I got markers or something, and then I just painted it. I put, I added more details to the face, and then I put like a different type of green on the blood of the hybrid, and then I put more details on the hybrid too. And then the net and the legs, um, the little dots, it didn't happen much well, so I just put them there, and I just added more little details to it. So, but it's really, really, really cool. And I was just thinking about getting a piece of paper, painting it black completely, and then putting like little stars so that it could look like the spaces back here. Because I'm like, I'd really draw really good. So, and so that's about my Predator Alien First Predator um little collection right there. And then I also got the I got, I forgot where I ordered this from, but it was a um bio helmet. Which you could wear it, but it's really heavy. You could wear it, but you could I have it on my wall right now. You know, I'm in my pajamas. Chill. All right, so that's about it right there. It's really detailed. The thing that I'm not happy with this is just drawing this right here, the little focus thing that they have. And you could actually put it. So it is wearable. It is wearable. So it has the thing, so you can put it on the wall. Where it has this, so you can put it around your head and you could actually put it in. So, I don't know what it's made in China. I'm not, like, I'm not surprised. I don't know what kind of material it is. It's kind of like a wooden material or something like that, but it's really heavy. That's all I'm saying. Oh, And I also got the PS3 game for it, and yeah, I'm a PS3 fan. I really don't like Xbox. I think that Xbox sucks. So, that's about it, and so yeah. So, thank you, and I hope you liked the video. Ooh, yay. Alright, bye guys.